Hi everyone, welcome back. My name is Emily and in this video I will be creating two cards and I will be focusing on an older die set called um, Circle Shape Card. And you can see I cut my card base out with the help of that die and then I combined it with a new stamp set or sorry a die set called Sunshine Die Set and it's the one on screen here. And I just love this die set. I think it's so much fun and it really is a bright a bright card that you can create with it. So I just simply cut uh, the pieces that you can see here on screen. I cut them out of some gold, uh, matte gold cardstock and some pink, no, not pink, no, some yellow cardstock in two different shades and in this die set there is the hello sunshine sentiment so i cut these out as well and the sunglasses and the mouth i stagger those a couple of times i use some foam strips from trinity on the glasses and then for the mouth it was hard to like get it perfectly aligned so i decided to cut it out four times and stack them all together so that is what i created and you can see here is my sentiment how delicate and beautiful it is it also comes with shadow pieces that you can see here on screen and i'm just poking out all of those um, um inside parts and then i can adhere it on top of my vellum you can see it here on screen and then we are ready to start assemble our first card so I'm putting some double-sided foam tape to the back of this and then I'm just carefully making sure that I am placing this, this down perfectly. Then I'm putting down the middle part and when I'm happy with that I will press it in place. You can see I have some wiggle room here before I have to commit to it. I think it looks good and then I press it down and you can see how our card base is starting to come together. And then we have the glasses on here. We have the sentiment and I had to figure out if I wanted the whole sentiment on the front like hello sunshine but I opted for having the hello on the front and sunshine on the inside. So now I'm just adhering my mouth down and you can see how cute that is, I just love it. And then I will go for my sentiment right in the middle there. And then we have the sunshine on the inside. Super sweet. I just love this card. I think it was so easy to create. You can really copy and create a lot of different color combination if you like. I just went for the yellow since it's like, you know, the sun. <laughs> and then I embellish it with some uh, uh, yellow hearts as well. These are some new embellishments from Trinity. So cute. And for a second project, uh, since I had that um, circle uh, card base uh, already like out on my desk, I decided to go ahead and create another card with that same card base. So I stamped out um, nearly all of the images from the gnome, gnome Under the Sea. Such a cute stamp set. This is also from the latest release from Trinity. And I used some markers and just quickly colored in uh, my mermaid here and the fishes and yeah. I just didn't spend that much time coloring these. I had two markers and I just made good of them and I went for pink and teal which, which is one of my favorite color combinations. You can also see here that I had two to three markers for all of my color combinations today so you don't need to have a lot of markers for creating this look. I usually don't use more than like two or three shades for my coloring. Uh, if I have more it has to be a very large image uh, but most of the stamps that I am using are fairly small so two to three markers you get a long way with so you don't have to pick up all of the markers out there you just have to pick out the colors that you prefer using. And for my like under the sea uh, card here, I wanted to create with this bottom part. So I stamped it on a piece of Nina, uh, 80 pound cardstock, and then I used some markers to color it in. This is a time where it probably would have been handy to have more than three shades in the same color family. 
but I made good of what I had and you can see the dotted part that I added really helped and I will quickly color in uh, the light part here on the top I thought it was a little bit too light here in a second so I will go in with a darker marker as well just to make sure that we are covering this inside part you can see I'm doing my best and you can see I opted for another marker I did it off camera and then I laid all of my pieces out so I had an idea of what I wanted to create and then I stamped the sentiment from this set um, just keep swimming in some Versa mark ink or if it was it was just a clear stick ink I think it was from WOW and then I had some white embossing powder from Hero Arts that I sprinkled on top and then heat set off camera and in this die set there is a coordinating die to cut this sentiment out so I cut it out with that die and now the fun part comes we can assemble our card this is always my best part of the card making process to see how everything turns out together and just to be able to play around with the placement of all of the elements that you created I also went in with a white gel pen when I was happy with all of the placement and created some dots to look like um, uh, the sun hitting the, the mermaids and I also, if I had any boo-boos that I made when I colored, uh, I could also like cover them up with that white gel pen, so it's a really handy tool. Then I will at attach my circle down to our card base that I also cut with some heavy cardstock. And there we go, we have our second project also finished. I hope you enjoyed this video and got inspired to create something. And I will leave links down below for all of the products that I used in this video. And um, yeah, I hope you enjoyed and thank you so much for watching and until next time, have a great day. Bye!